गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडेज क्लास इन टूडेज क्लास फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट आवर प्रीवियस होमवर्क दैट आई वॉज गिवेन एंड आई होप यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड योर होमवर्क इफ नॉट सी द सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट वन इज डिफाइन द फॉलोइंग सरकोम नेविगेशन डे स्टूडेंट ट्रेवलिंग ऑल द वे अराउंड द अर्थ टू रीच बैक टू द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ट्रेवलिंग ऑल द वे अराउंड द अर्थ वेयर ट्रेवलिंग अराउंड द अर्थ टू रीच बैक टू द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट डे स्टूडेंट इन सरकम नेविगेशन ट्रेवलर स्टार्टेड हिज जर्नी अराउंड द अर्थ टू रीच टू द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट दैट इज कॉल्ड सरकम नेविगेशन सेकेंड इज ग्लोब अ ग्लोब इज अ मॉडल ऑफ द अर्थ अ ग्लोब इज अ मॉडल ऑफ द अर्थ सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज हु प्रूफ दैट द अर्थ इज स्फेरिकल इन शेप हु प्रूफ दैट द अर्थ इज स्फेरिकल इन शेप हाउ so answer is here in the 16th century a portuguese sail explorer ferdinand magellan set on an expedition he started his journey from seville in spain in 1519 though he died on the way voyage was completed by his second in command name is juan sebastian alcano in 1522 when the letter reached seville and proved by his circumnavigation that the earth was spherical in shape so my dear student it's all about our previous homework let's start with this topic dear student before this in the lesson longitudes and latitudes we discuss before this about the shape of the earth and locating position of the on the earth locating position on the earth how can we locate the position on the earth it is already discuss so today we will see the topic first of all globe what is globe dear student the globe is a small model of the earth because of the size of the earth is too big we cannot study so big shape and size of the earth for our convenience we make a model of the earth for study the earth for study in earth dear student you can see here globe stands on support at the top and the bottom it is top and it is sorry it is top and it is bottom top is called north pole and bottom is called south pole globe can be turned around a line called axis tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degree tilt it at an angle of 23 and a half degree it is called axis it is called axis this is the line on which earth turn around at that is called axis so next is 
Drawing these imaginary line on the globe help us to divide the surface of the earth into small portions for the ease of locating places on the globe. Dear student, we suppose many lines on the globe you can say on the earth. Drawing these imaginary lines on the globe help us to divide the surface of the earth. By this, by making the globe, we can divide the earth surface into a small portion. For our study, you can see here it is 0 degree and this line is called equator. Dear student, this equator divides the earth into two equal halves. The upper part from the equator is called northern hemisphere and lower part from the equator is called southern hemisphere. And you know students, our India lies in northern hemisphere. Our India lies in Northern Hemisphere. So, drawing these imaginary lines on the globe help us to divide the surface of the earth into a small portion for the ease of locating places on the globe. So, it's all about the main feature of the globe. What are the main things in the globe? This is the diagram for you. And next topic is lines of longitude. Longitude. We take the North Pole and the South Pole. It is North Pole and it is South Pole. As a standard reference point and equidistant line from the North Pole to the South Pole equal distance from North Pole to South Pole all around the globe these are called longitudes or meridian. Yes student this line you can see it is drawn on the whole globe and all the lines of longitude are the same length. These lines which is drawn on the globe from North Pole to South Pole all lines are equal in size and they meet at the poles they meet at the poles North Pole and South Pole and are furthest from each other at the equator at the equator equator is here in the between and North Pole and South Pole both are furthest from the equator. There are 360 lines of long longitude. How many longitude beta? 360 longitude. Means 360 lines of longitudes are there on the globe. So it is you can see here here is the prime meridian 0 degree prime meridian and this 0 degree prime meridian divided the earth into two equal halves from this point towards the east side it is called 180 of east longitude 180 of east longitude and from this point that is 0 degree longitude or you can say prime meridian from this this point towards the west side it is called 180 degree of west longitude so you can see here the globe that is made for longitude these are the longitude. So, it's all about our today's topic.
now the time for homework what is the prime meridian first question is what is the prime meridian second is fill in the blanks the shape of the earth is like an dash but slightly flattened at the top and at the bottom second is dash meet at the poles and they are furthest apart at the equator third one is dash is located at 66 and a half degree south from the equator so it's all about our today's class have a nice day